Hey everyone, it's Jeanette. So just want to quickly do this video and share with you guys a couple of randomness. It's some online Halsey's and Michael's and then it's gonna be like a mesh of rambling because I do want to share something that I created and then announce winners because the last winner did not contact me. And yeah, so again, I'm gonna announce the winner or, you know, for the last giveaway and then for the one that I just recently had and then just a mishmash of sharing goodies I purchased. So I will be right back. Alrighty, so I'm back. Okay, so the last giveaway that I had was for the Sizzix and Presslets embossing folder and die. And since that winner did not contact me, and it's been like, I don't know how many days already. I redrew a winner and that winner is LadyJ.Crafty2016, whoops. Which again, congratulations. And if you could please contact me so I can get this goodie out to you. Again, I do my giveaways like this where the winner has to contact me and I don't do it vice versa. Why? It's just my preference, <laughs> sorry, but that's how I do my giveaways so that you guys can, you know, obviously come back and check out if you guys won, you know, these itty bitty giveaways. Hopefully that makes some sense, but it's just, yeah, I want you guys to come back and continue <laughs> watching my videos. Alrighty. I know it's been a while, you guys, and, you know, yeah. So, and then I did have another giveaway literally a couple of days ago and it was for the sequence mix and then the Tim Holtz coffee stamp set and then this Dear Lizzie embossing folder and that winner is hopefully I'm saying this right but it's Max and Shoji yeah so that is the winner for this one again if you guys can please contact me so I can get these goodies out to you and yeah so again, be on the lookout. I definitely always have itty bitty giveaways going on. Life's just been crazy. You guys know how life can be and I haven't been posting and I'm back. <laughs> I know it's just craziness, but okay. So the little tiny shirt that I wanted to do was using that. Hopefully I don't even have it with me, but this, our daily bread designs, a uh, bountiful basket die. I used the pink and main medium bow and I used a fancy pants paper pad and I just again I know it's really hard to actually see it but I do try to post pictures on my Instagram like my crafty Instagram so you guys can check it out but it's this one here and I know and I just added like some crinkle paper and then just a gift card which again is just for the display but such a cute idea to you know hand out to someone you can actually add more goodies in there but kept it super duper simple again this is yeah and it's like covered with paper all around and yeah and then i actually went to michael's today because i want to get more of the brads because i don't own that many brads and i found these in my stash but so random i know okay so that was my tiny share and then online Halsey's, I did purchase this Pink and Fresh Studio stamp and die set that I had seen, you know, on Instagram. Kind of a bummer. I purchased this on the 16th, which was way before my scrapbook expo. And it literally got here like today, which whatever day it is today. But yeah, it's crazy. It's, I'm like in awe, but don't want to get into it. I'm not going to leave a bad review because I'm just not like that. You know, things happen. So as long as it gets here, right? Um, this stamp and Dice, which I'm sure you guys have seen all over social media. And then from CC Designs, which, oh my goodness, their packaging is like super duper cute because it's pink. And then like, look, those little hearts right there. Super cute. And again, I did pick this up because I had seen Amador, I'm sure you guys know who he is, you know, 
purchased some of these goodies and this was like way before like after I came back from Cali and had seen how he like did like a huge haul because they had a ton a ton a ton of dice on clearance but I guess I was too late I only picked up a few that were on clearance and those were these here which these are the letter the alphabets which was $6.25 again from $25 it's the bubble alphas and super cute and then i picked up the numbers which obviously coordinate with the letters and then the other thing oh and this was 375 i'm sure that they still have them as of today i have not checked their website but pretty sure that they might still have these and then this one which is oh these were actually two dollars sorry this was 375 which is a tiny banner and yeah mini banner so those were those and then the ones that i wanted to pick up like really like i just had to pick these up were this one and it basically makes like the little baggie and a tag yeah super cute and then obviously it can cut out the alphas as well obviously you just need to cut them off like snip at those little edges so that you can yeah you basically get like four dies here so and then I had to pick this tag die which oh this was yeah the metal baggie and die and then this was the just tag die which this was 17 this one was 25 again original price but super cute CC designs came out with this super cute design so this tag die again it comes three tags obviously just snip them and then you know run them through your machine and then I just love these different shaped reinforcers, which again, super duper cute. Had to pick that up. And so those were my online halsies. And then I did go to Michael's today. And again, these flowers were, I believe a dollar something. I only picked them up because seriously, I just got the idea of, you know, using them on like the unicorn, like in different you know forms and stuff but I was actually getting rid of a ton of my flowers that I already own so again I just picked up these pink ones and then these blue ones these are tinier and then these are the tiny pink ones and then the aqua ones again and then these white ones and Again, I'm sure there's like dyes that, you know, we're able to create these, but I don't have one. And yeah, the packaging is seriously super duper cute. Wish we could reuse it, but yeah, not going to happen. And then something that is just a necessity, which were some cutting pads because I needed new ones. And then the recollections brads that I was mentioning for the little baskets. And then I just got some white and black ones see how those work and then just tiny clearance section which I'm gonna try and do these ribbon tassels see how that works for like a challenge that I saw that is going on and I just picked this one up and then this one which is just a pom-pom trim for a dollar something and again I know this is like I'm sure you guys have all seen this out there already but and then I have the pom-pom makers from we are memory keepers which I'm sure you guys have seen. And I just wanted to buy some yarn um, to create those. And I actually wanted to get started already. So yeah, so I just picked up these multicolored ones and they were actually on clearance as well. And then this one, and I guess they don't have names or I don't know if they do, but and then this one here, and then they're just like pastel -y colors or like cutesy ones and they're all mixed. So that's why I picked this one up too. So again, super super random halsey and the other thing which i'm sure you guys have all seen but i don't even remember who was it that had posted this a while back this was like way before i went on vacation i have seen they had the fuji film instax hello kitty version and i just had to pick it up because it was on clearance and i already own the pink one which is this one here and again I already own it but just because it's Hello Kitty and it was on clearance and it was cute 
you guys. I just had to pick it up. So again, super duper random. I will try to do a video, you know, unboxing video of this and yeah. <laughs> so that is my <laughs> random Halsey. For the two winners, please contact me with your info and yeah, that is it. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Bye.